define spirituality fairly broadly. To me, spirituality is some kind of poetic description of the universe, uh, not rooted uh, direct in what is directly observable or testable, instead using abstract and immaterial ideas to help an individual cope with and understand the universe on a more personal level than one can with objective academics. Um, spirituality is a reflection upon uh, one's previous is a reflection upon one's previous life experience uh, that seeks to make connections between thoughts uh, and experiences that suspend our disbelief enough to allow us to exercise our imaginations in personally helpful ways. Um, this is what I see as spirituality when I consider its roots, uh, an expression of imagination. I mean, that literally is what spirituality is, because without an ability to imagine, uh, something immaterial, we couldn't rightly be able to form beliefs around them, now could we? Uh, that is why I think uh, spirituality is a creative and therapeutic endeavor, not one of describing objective reality or of determining status in society. Um, to provide an example of my own spirituality, um, my best friend and I uh, both highly believe that we have this natural kind of spiritual connection to each other. Uh, we're just on the same plane of thinking, the same plane of existence, uh, and we pretty much uh, share the same perspective on so many different uh, issues and ideas, and can easily synthesize the differences we come across when, if, if, you know, if we want to, uh, if, if we want more harmony. Uh, it's down to the point where uh, the amount of coincidence that happens between the two of us is absolutely incredible. Um, and it would make a superstitious person go with fucking insane. I understand, though, that it is coincidence. Realistically, it's nothing more than just coincidence. Um, that I'm now actively trying to notice. Uh, it, it's probably caused by mirror neurons that I'm unaware of, uh, or any other number of potential physical and objective explanations for them. Um, despite this, I still describe this phenomenon poetically as a way of trying to express all of those possibilities so they're addressed and handled within my mind. Um, so instead of listing the tons of physical reasons, I cite a spiritual connection. And again, I don't offer this citation of spiritual connection to be any description of objective reality. This is only for the purposes of it, he and I getting along and coping with each other. Um, but to, to go more broadly into my spirituality, uh, absolutely everything I, I believe spiritually uh, can be broken down into poetic descriptions of objective reality. Uh, but through those poetic descriptions, I think profound truth can be realized. And I have made many uh, breakthroughs in my own thoughts solely because of the spiritual perspective. Um, for instance, the, the manner in which I cope with death is very much against what is traditionally the naturalistic explanation, but I use almost solely naturalistic ideas to explain how I feel about it. Um, when we die, the, the matter and energy that currently makes up my body and consciousness will begin to break down and return to the universe as the constituent parts that originally brought together in my mother's womb to form the body and consciousness that I identify as myself. Uh, when I die, instead of being matter and energy that is aware of its own existence, I will become matter and energy that is no longer aware of its own existence. Uh, I will, uh, I will simply continue to exist. And the, 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 but I, not as I, not as the concept of I. Uh, but, you know, my constituent parts will go out and what makes, what, what essentially makes me who I am will become part of the rest of the universe in a wide variety of ways and it will continue on until a chain, in an endless chain, uh, well, it'll end when the universe does. And, and I take pleasure and solace in the fact, in, in this, that, that, that my constituent parts will eventually form the constituent parts of other things, perhaps of other bodies and of other consciousnesses, or perhaps of you know, interesting minerals uh, that are uh, make, uh, or an interesting unique mineral that happens to be on a specific planet in a specific galaxy that we're completely unaware of or something. You know, th these are the various things. Now, obviously what's most likely going to happen is I just go back into the food cycle. 
I, 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 I decompose uh, and get consumed. Mm -hmm. And then the energy and matter that makes up me uh, gets disseminated that way. But I, I don't view that as, as, as inherently bad or negative. I just view it as the, the next stage of existence. Um, just because I'm unaware of it doesn't mean it won't necessarily exist. These are just ideas that I'm entertaining. I'll come back to that. Uh, actually, no, I'll, I'll go with that right now. When I discuss uh, spirituality, it does. It often comes back to things like this. Uh, spirituality is very much a discussion of possibilities. And it's a discussion about which po uh, possibilities and which ideas help us cope with and understand the universe on a more personal level, like I said. Uh, when I discuss spirituality, I'm not concerned about who's right and who's wrong, but with how we can relate and synthesize new spiritual ideas by comparing our perspectives and trying to interact with other people, you know, get more than just myself. In a sense, it's kind of like objectifying spirituality while still allowing it to remain completely non-standardized. Um, it's, it's, it's all about how we cope and about what we believe. It's about finding happiness and contentment and satisfaction in one's life. It's, it's not about trying to describe objective reality, at least for me. And I, don't, and I think it's about time that more spiritualists adopted this idea. Now, I know this is by no means a unique idea, it's just solely my own. Um, I mean, I arrived at it on my own, but I was by far not, I was by no means the first to ever do it. Uh, and I'm sure I was aware of other people who believe similar things. Um, but I largely believe this sort of approach to spirituality should be adopted because when it is taken as descriptions of objective reality, things like wars and genocide happen. And I'm a hippie, like I said before, and very much want to have more harmony in this world. I am wearing a feather vest. Uh, Tied eye color, psychedelic, uh, hippie vest, flower vest. It's, it's even got tassels. <sighs> that was embarrassing. And then there was a great way to follow up uh, what was probably one of my better videos thus far.